Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Um, we have beautiful weather here and I'm excited for the weekend and I want to get some sewing in this weekend. I want to spend some time with my family this weekend. A lot of really exciting things going forward this weekend. So I hope you guys are having a good beginning to your weekend as well. All right, before we get into today's video, though, because I've got a fabric haul for you, which is, I'll explain all of that. It's very exciting. Um, but before we get into that, number one, today is Friday, and the Feature Friday pattern is a really good one. It is the re-release of the Presto tunic. I've been waiting for this to re-release so that it had the full bust front, and um, it's in the full size range, and all that kind of thing. I really want to play around with this pattern with my embroidery unit, doing some really cool embroidery on that uh, placket part of that um, tunic. But it is today $5 only. Um, I also think this would make a really cute dress if you were to lengthen it, like almost cadence-ish, like a little shift dress, and it would be so cute. Anyway, I have lots of ideas and plans for the Presto tunic. I just need some time to sew one up. But um, anyway, it is $5 today only. Um, and if you use the code TKS10, you can get additional 10% off that sale pr price, which makes it a really um, great addition to your pattern catalog. Sorry, I just had ate lunch before. I felt this. I had a shake and Clearly, I'm you know, sorry about that. Um, anyway, um, that is what we've got for the Love Notions Feature Friday pattern for today, which is a good one. And I have a little bit of a save the date that I want to throw at you guys. Um, I am going to be doing another live meet and greet down in Bloomington, Indiana at University of Sewing. I know that it is not convenient for a lot of you to get there, um, you know, unless you're in kind of a general... <laughs> um, range of us. And my plan really is to do some traveling and going to some different places to try and hit, um, do as many live and in-person events as I can so I can meet as many of you live as I can. Um, but Bloomington and um, the University of Sewing is just really easy for me um, to get to. So um, anyway, on October 29th, which is a Sunday, I'm going to be doing a little, um, we're going to be talking about holiday um, sewing, gift sewing, um, and some really simple um, ideas, showing some fabrics and all that kind of stuff for some um, good gift ideas um, for the holidays, for your loved ones, um, for friends, family, loved ones, uh, spouses, kids, all the whole range, <laughs> um, kind of covering gifts for all the categories. So um, it will be on a Sunday from, I think it's from four to six. One to four? Maybe it's one to four. I think the event's from one to four. I should have checked this. It is the afternoon on the 29th, which is a Sunday. Um, and what's really exciting is that um, University Sewing is closed on Sunday. So it will be a private event, um, just us there at the shop. So anyway, just want to put a save today. There's no tickets available or anything like that yet. Um, you know, the details other than the time and place of really all that's been ironed out. So stay tuned, watch this space for more information on that. But um, I wanted to give you guys a heads up in case that's something that you want to uh, maybe put on your schedule. So October 29th, the afternoon of October 29th, I'm doing another meet and greet at University of Sewing um, in Bloomington, Indiana. So um, anyway, just want to do a, a little let you know that that is in the works and that that will be happening. And we are trying to figure out more meet and greets. Really, I'd love to do them all over the country. Um, you know, <laughs> so yeah, if we can make it worthwhile um, to afford to be able to do that, obviously. Um, but anyway, that is kind of, we are looking into more of those in 2024. So stay tuned for that. Okay. I have fabric in my lap and I'm very excited to tell you about it. Recently, like in the past month, I have been approached by Mood Fabrics in New York, as well as the new Craft House, which is in the UK, um, about becoming affiliated with them, be having an affiliate link with them, which means anything that is purchased from the link that I have, I get a small commission from Mood or New Craft House um, as part of you know their marketing plan, basically. Um, and I was very excited because I think the more fabric stores I have access to easily, I mean, I have access to all of them, um, the better, the more, the more options that I can pull from for you guys and get you guys the 
best quality and best deals and stuff that I can come across. Um, I feel like I'm doing my due diligence. And I mean, I'm not going to say no to fabric either. None of this fabric was given to me. I purchased all of this fabric with my own money, but I do now have affiliate links for this fabric, meaning Miner or, um, Mood or um, New Craft House does pay me a small commission um, from anything that's purchased from those. Anyway, um, I have not, see, I've never shopped from the New Craft House, but um, I had only shopped a little bit from Mood's um, website. I'm not really sure why. I mean, they're a well-known fabric company um, there in New York City with Project One Runway and all of that, and um, I, I don't know why I hadn't really shopped for them, but I did buy fabric for my son's um, silk blazer that I made him for the Italian wedding. I bought that for Mood because I was able to find what I was looking for there. So I was just really excited to try out both um, fabric stores, and both of their fabrics arrived. Um, well, I ordered more than one from each store. <laughs> Because, because I have to give you guys the best review of what they carry. <laughs> Again, I did buy this all with my own money. This is, none of this was given to me. I bought it all. Um, but I um, wanted to grab some fabrics just to kind of, you know, tell you guys a little bit about the fabric stores. We're coming into fall. A lot of fall sewing is happening right now. And um, both companies offer something a little bit different. And I want to talk to you about that a little bit in case you are new to the new craft house or mood fabrics. And um, yeah, tell you what I discovered in grabbing some new fabric. I've got my phone here only because... Um, I wanted to make sure that I am telling you correctly, especially New Craft House. I got five fabrics from New Craft House, uh, and again, oops, I have my phone here. Um, I bought five fabrics from the New Craft House, and I just want to make sure I'm telling you exactly what everything is, um, and then I know what I grabbed from Mood, because there's just two there. <laughs> so I've got seven fabrics to show you. <laughs> but, you know, I want to I wanna tell you all about these places in case you're new to them. All right, so the New Craft House. I had heard of the New Craft House. A lot of the UK um, YouTubers and Instagrammers and sewing influencers, whatever you want to call them, um, that I follow always talk about the New Craft House. Um, the New Craft House, I feel like, hosts a lot of like the book releases, you know, like Tilly and the Buttons book release and um, I mean, just a ton. I just feel like they're always hosting events there. Uh, I think that they do a, I think it's the New Craft House that does the, um, uh, frock tails type thing that happens there. Um, anyway, a lot of that. I'm not, I think they are I'm not entirely sure where they're located in the UK, if they're in London or somewhere else. I'm not really sure. I, I didn't look that closely. Um, but anyway, what is really cool about them is that they stock all dead stock fabric, which means dead stock fabric is fabric that has been used by fashion designers, clothing stores, that thing to make their line, and this is leftover fabric. This fabric would go to a landfill if it weren't for places like the New Craft House that grabs it and... Um, sells it to us. So, um, which is great. It means less things going into the landfill and you can get some really good and cool fabrics for really good prices. Um, they, they've got some really cool stuff, some really cool stuff. If nothing else, go peruse their website. It is, they've got some really, really cool stuff. Now the thing with New Craft House, because they're doing dead stock fabrics, that means what they get is what they get and they can't get any more. So once they, you know, you see something on their site, grab it because it may not, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. They won't be able to restock. I wouldn't think, uh, maybe occasionally, but I think for the most part, once it's gone, it's gone. So, um, you know, checking in with them, you know, somewhat regularly, seeing if they've, what they've got. Um, they've just got a lot of really cool pieces that you might not find other places. And again, once you see that, it's a good idea to go ahead and grab it so that, um, because it might not be there for very long. I went down a whole rabbit hole going through their website and it is addictive. <laughs> they've got really beautiful things. Again, I bought five things. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through what I grabbed. The first thing, I'm going to go in the list here. I bought this, it's, let's see, it's an Anaconda double wool flannel. I mean, does anyone need wool with Anaconda skin, like, printed on it? I mean, probably not, but oh my gosh, isn't that cool? I got, I think I've got a meter and a half here, and I'll see how wide it is. Woo! Um, 
It's a double, it's a wool flannel, but a double wool flannel. So it's very thick. Oh, I'd say that's, that's, you know, 54 to 60 wide. Um, oh, it's got beautiful selvages. Altamoda. Double, yeah, double flannel cloth made in Italy. It's just, and it's printed, obviously, on one side, but I just thought it was so cool. You know, I love a good animal print. I don't wear snake print a lot, but there was just something about that, that this, and I'm like, I should grab this now, or it's not going to be here very long. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it. I'm going to be real honest. I thought when I ordered um, three of these, I thought I was ordering three meters, but after I placed my order, it dawned on me that they sell by the half the meter. I know better than that. This is my own dumminess. Um, so I, I got half of, of everything that I thought that I was ordering. But I think that's going to be fine. And that's going to be that's going to be good. So I have a meter and a half of this. So I was thinking it could be, number one, it could be a really cool skirt. Because it's got a lot of structure to it. Or, um, I mean, it's got a lot of body. Or it could be a really cool jacket. I could get a jacket... I might be able to get like a cropped jacket and a, like a A-line mini skirt. I use mini skirt very <laughs> loosely, not super, super mini, but a shorter skirt. I might be able to get both of those things out of a meter and a half because I'm short. Um, anyway, I just thought it was so cool. It's just so cool. <laughs> I'm so glad I grabbed that. I don't know what it's going to become. All right. So that was the first thing I grabbed from New Craft, New Craft House. Um, the second was this, um, Poppy, which is this, um, beautiful, um, red color. Poppy Silk Stretch Crepe Backed Satin. Um, so it's a nice, like, a brick red. So, um, and is this, oh, this is nice and wide, too. Look at that for silk. That's amazing. And it's stretchy. Oh, what am I going to make with this? So I have a meter and a half of this as well. Um, I was kind of thinking a bias cut skirt could be really cool out of this. I mean, that might be really cool. I don't know. But do I want to take advantage of the um, stretch and I could do, good gracious, Gidget is snoring up a storm. Do I want to take it? I don't know. If I want to take advantage of the stretch and make like a shirt, it would just be a really comfortable button up shirt. I could probably get a button up shirt out of a meter and a half. Because again, I'm short, <laughs> short arms and a short body. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just couldn't resist the color. I thought it was so fun. And it's a crepe back satin, which means on one side, it is um, the smooth satin texture. And on the other side, it's like a crepe de chine feel. So like a crepe on the back. Crepe back satin. <laughs> but it's, I call it like blouse weight. A little, I mean, it's heavier than a charmeuse. Um, but I would call this blouse weight. And I'm totally going to wash this in the washing machine and dry it so that I can, I uh, don't have to worry about um, staining it with water spots later. It was just beautiful. So that was one I grabbed. I was really feeling the silk here, folks. And then, where's the, oh, here it is. I had one that fell off my lap. Um, okay, these next two I got to go together. So this is, I mean, this is my color, folks. You know this is my color. Tangerine, and it's a silk cloak, which, um, I think that's how you say that, clock, cloak, um, but it's a textured silk. So it's very, it's see-through. I mean, it's, um, oh, I don't know, maybe the weight of like an organza, but it's got this really cool texture to it. And I've got a meter and a half of this as well, I believe. Uh, yes, a meter and a half of this. And what was also really cool is that on some of their fabrics, like this is obviously very see-through, they had a suggestion for a lining. And so I went ahead and grabbed that too. And the lining, which is right here, I mean, those go together beautifully, is a um, stretch cotton sateen, I think. No, stretch, a stretch cotton uh, pop one. It feels sateen to me. Um, and this is, this is a little narrower. I bet this is just 45. Oh, but that's got a lot of good stretch in it. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I may, I'm going to use them together. But it could be cool to do like a shift dress and do like a really, like a big sleeve on it. Or is that going to make me look unbalanced? That might make me look unbalanced um, with a straight, if I don't balance out my bottom half, like a big sleeve with um, like something big on the skirt. I want this up by my face though. 
I don't know, a peplum top could be really cool. My thought was I would line the bodice of whatever I make with this and then leave the sleeves free to do what sleeves want to do. Um, and I should have enough to do, um, I should have enough to do like a cropped peplum, like looser shirt. That could be cool. And then just line the bodice in this. I don't know. I don't know. But these two are going to go together. And I couldn't resist. It was the color that got me. And then I bought the lining because, you know, <laughs> it suggested it. <laughs> and then finally, this is a golden caramel hammered silk satin. And I have two meters of this. And let's see how wide this is. It said how wide things were. Oh, this is nice and wide too. Oh yeah, I'll be able, I mean, this this would need a lining as well, but I was kind of thinking um, when I bought this, oh, I just bought um, some style art patterns. They were on sale. They had like, created little capsules, like a winter, fall, winter capsule and a spring, summer capsule, depending on what hemisphere you're in. Um, I already owned quite a few of the patterns from their fall winter capsule, but I bought a couple of the other ones that were suggested. And one of them is a dress and I can't remember what it's called. So that's a good story, Whitney. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking that this would be cool. It's just a very loose fitting dress. The Emerson, I think maybe it's called the Emerson. Um, but I thought that this might be good. Just like a, a loose fitting dress. that would be very easy to layer over or under like a turtleneck could go underneath it, or it could go underneath a, um, jacket or a cardigan or something like that, but nice and loose, you know, thick tights can go underneath it, that kind of thing. Um, I, I also just love the color, right? And it's a hammered silk. So it's got really pretty texture to it and it's wide and I've got two meters of it. I mean, look at, yeah. That's going to be lovely. So those are the five fabrics that I grabbed from New Craft House. Again, they have, I was so tempted to grab it and I didn't because um, it's, it's pricier, but it's a silk organza that has hand painted roses, like neon roses all over it. And they're outlined in like flocking. And it is so cool. And I just kept thinking that would make the coolest prom dress <laughs> for so, like a teenager, or it would make like a cool like um sheer bomber jacket it would make it would make a cool like a lot of things like super cool um but yeah i would go take a look at their website because there's just a lot of rabbit holes you could fall down to obviously i'll have everything i'll have all these individual pieces linked if they're still available and um just the site in general will be linked so you can go take a look there so that was new craft house now with minerva or not Minerva, with Mood, I wanted to grab a couple of their like standard lines of fabrics that I thought that I was interested in and that I might use quite a bit um, just to kind of check the quality, see, you know, if it's as cool as I think it's going to be. And I'm very pleased with both of the pieces that I bought. So the first one, um, one of my students from my pattern fitting class back in the spring was fitting a pair of um, her pants and we were going back and forth and I was helping her fit her knit pants and she had um, made one of them in this fabric and I commented to her, I, you know, with the fitting, but I was like, oh my gosh, I love that color. And so she sent me the link to Mood and lo and behold, it is the Mood's... Um, it's their Papaleo Premium Stretch Ponte Knit, and it comes in like 29 different colors. I grabbed the Chartreuse because this is totally a color I'm using with my fall um, wardrobe, and I think I grabbed, I grabbed three yards of it. So I've got meters for the new craft house, yards for mood. Um, I grabbed three yards of this because I thought it could be a cool pair of pants, or it could be a really cool dress, or... Um, I mean, maybe a skirt, probably pants and a dress is my guess. Um, I just thought the color was so good. But again, there's like 29 different colors in this. And it is a nice, really nice, beefy Ponte. This is a very high quality Ponte. One of the nicer Ponte's I would say um, that I've come across in a while. And I've come across some nice ones, but it has good structure. It's not overly drapey. Um, I think it will make a fantastic pair of pants and or and or a structured dress and the color is just way too good so i grabbed three yards of this i highly recommend this fabric i have not um washed and worn it yet obviously but it is a uh do they call it rayon or viscose hold on it is a rayon it may not say on here 
Yeah. Um, I can't remember if they call it rayon or viscose, but it's a rayon nylon spandex blend or viscose nylon spandex blend. And, um, it, it's, it's just beautiful. Oh, it'd make a really good, it'd make a really good Metro blazer. Do I need a chartreuse Metro blazer? I might. <laughs> I might folks. I might. Anyway, this one is very good. I highly recommend. And then I grabbed four yards of this next fabric. I don't know why I grabbed so much, to be honest, but I grabbed four yards of it because um, I have been obsessed with texture this fall season, and um, you're going to be seeing a lot of pieces that bring in shiny, um, just texture, whether that be shiny and smooth or fluffy or um, you know velvet, leather, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just very into a lot of texture right now. And I've been wanting, well, number one, I've been seeing silk or satin pants everywhere. And number two, I've been wanting a satin bias skirt for a long time and just haven't made one or a slip dress, either or. I want to relive some of my 1990 teenager dreams. <laughs> Uh, but this is their, um, another line that they have it in a ton of colors. Their Eliana, all of, this is olive, but their Eliana Sustainable Viscose Fluid. So this is a kind of a crepe back satin, but in viscose. I obviously grabbed the olive colorway. So it is shiny satin on one side and crepe texture on the other side. I think this would be really cool to mix and match your shiny and matte side for a jacket or as like a tuxedo stripe down a pair of pants. You could do shiny pants with a matte stripe, which would be the opposite of what a tuxedo pant would have. Um, but I was really interested in this for, like I said, for like satin pants or a slip dress or a slip skirt, or maybe all the above. I have four yards of this. I have a lot. Um, but I was just interested to, to see what this felt like. So it's viscose. So it's a natural fiber. It's gone through a man-made process, but it's a natural fiber. Um, so it'll be much more breathable than like a polyester satin and it feels amazing and it's nice and weighty. Um, you could very easily get a pair of pants out of this. Um, you like a flowy, you know, like a relaxed pair of pants. I wouldn't make like a fitted pair of trousers. I think it would just show lumps and bumps, but <laughs> a pair of pants that are supposed to have a little bit more movement. Um, anything with an elastic waist or elastic in the back, this would be good for that. Uh, and also, like I said, a bias cut skirt and or slip dress. Anyway, this came in a ton of colors too. Um, so I would highly recommend going to take a look and you're going to be seeing, um, I've got my ready to wear, my 10 ready to wear looks for fall to recreate. I've got that video coming up, I think the first week of October, but, um, you'll be seeing this fabric's going to play in one of the looks as well. Um, that I pull from and it's really good. Um, so be very excited. <laughs> anyway, this was the second fabric I um, bought from Mood and I would highly recommend this line as well. And again, with Mood, I was trying to pick a couple of lines that looked like they carry it all the time, like they would get more in, came in a ton of colors, that sort of thing. So, um, and ones that I would, you know, use multiple times. And I think both of those would be ones that I would grab more of, maybe in other colors, depending on what my project might be. So there you have it, guys. Those are seven fabrics that I grabbed for this fall um, from two new to me fabric stores. So go take a look. You know, you can fall down the rabbit hole with me. <laughs> it happens. Um, I wasn't supposed to be buying any more fabric, but you know, I'm like, oh, it just makes sense. If I'm, you know, getting an aff affiliate with these two places, I need to buy some of their fabric. So uh, there we go. <laughs> I can't talk about things unless I know for sure what the quality is. So I needed to be able to speak to the quality. So there we go. I did some shopping and those are the pieces I grabbed. Hopefully you'll be seeing those coming up through the winter and in, or the fall and into the winter months. Um, because I, my plan is to keep a lot of color in my wardrobe, even as we get into the grayer drabber months of the year. So that was the idea behind all of this. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And um, I hope you have a good weekend. Get some sewing in. Um, you know, if you have great weather, spend some time outside. It's cooling down here um, a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. So I'm um, looking forward to spending a little bit of time outdoors. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Get some sewing in. I'll be back on Sunday with the uh, fold over elastic tutorial for um, Jenny's um, pajamas. That is Sunday's video. All right, see you then. Bye.